Finally today, producers continue to log long hours in the field harvesting their crops. But as I've been told before, farmers don't work in terms of hours, they work in terms of acres. That kind of mindset can get numerous things accomplished in a small amount of time. However, sometimes working in terms of acres can make it harder to keep track of your hours. When that happens, you could be missing out on a good amount of sleep. I recently caught up with Dr. Susan Harris this year at Husker Harvest Days to discuss the importance of getting a good night's sleep during the harvest season. In many cases around the state, crop producers continue to cut through their fields from morning to night. There's usually a big push to get things done and get things done right when it comes to harvest. However, all too often that work ethic can mean missing out on a good night's sleep. Sleep is always important, but it's especially important during harvest when schedules are messed up, there is a shift work happening. Um, you know, a lot of farmers get out there and think that getting harvest complete is the most important thing, but what they're not maybe considering is that when you don't get enough sleep, you're more apt to have injuries, accidents, um, things that go wrong. And so it's really important to just take the time Take a look at the clock, make sure you're getting enough sleep in during harvest time. No matter how you look at it, your body is the most valuable asset you have. A sufficient amount of rest can help ensure that you're making the best decisions from both a managerial aspect as well as personal safety. As a lack of sleep can impair judgment, cognition, and could make you more prone to negative side effects. Most people should probably get seven to eight hours of sleep at night, and when we don't get enough sleep, that really impacts the processes in our, our brain that happen only when we sleep. It's a cleansing process. It's like getting rid of all the toxins in your brain that only happens when you sleep. So when you don't get that sleep, things build up. Um, we have mood issues, we have fatigue, we have health issues happening, so many things. But in terms of how it affects your um, klutziness, I guess you could say, it's a big factor. You're not gonna be making good judgment calls when you lack sleep. Sitting in a combine or a truck all day is a big part of the job, and oddly enough, sitting all day can lead to fatigue in many cases. That's why it's important to make sure you get up and move every so often. This, along with a few other steps, can help ensure you fall asleep a bit easier when the day is finally over. Especially, so here's one that's, um, kind of exclusive for farmers and ranchers and people who drive a lot or if they're doing something monotonous for a long time. And harvest is like that, you know, you're sitting and sitting and sitting and you're, you're not getting up and moving. That's a, an issue with fatigue. And here at AgriBility, we talk about getting out and doing stretch breaks every hour. You should never sit more than an hour. Um, that's super important. And a couple of other important tips just for everyday sleep situations. Light and temperature are two of the the most important things to pay attention to. Um, temperature, meaning you should, you should cool down in the evening and you should sleep in a cool environment because your body has to cool down to sleep. And then of course it warms up during the day. And when it comes to light, super important to have a really dark room that's, that's like a cave. So it's cool and dark, like a cave. And then in the morning, get that bright light into your eyes so it's gonna tell your brain, you know, stop making the melatonin, it's time to wake up now. And then in the evening, lower the lights so it's preparing your, your body for sleep. If you happen to find yourself in bed at night still struggling to fall asleep, it's time to evaluate how you're trying to fall asleep by taking a full body inventory in order to help relax those muscles you don't regularly think about. There, there's this thing called uh, taking your body inventory when you can't fall asleep, and that's one of the things that really helps is you think about every place in your body that might be tense. For, for instance, if you're lying there and your, your eyes are squinted shut, you want to relax your eyes. And normally we find that most people's tongues are at the roof of their mouths, you know, and that takes some effort. And it's amazing how if you're trying to get to sleep, you remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth and just place it in the bottom of your mouth, low, you know, relax your jaw a little bit, you will feel so much more relaxed and possibly able to fall asleep better.